hello and welcome back to my channel i am v and thank you so much for checking out this video today i'm going to be reacting to top 10 places to visit in greece this is going to be your first time reaction so let's get right into this video and see what greece looks like top best places in this ruins, whitewashed villages, sunny beaches, tasty cuisine, and friendly atmosphere. It is no wonder that Greece ranks among Europe's top travel destinations. Mm. Greece is made up of a mountainous mainland and hundreds of islands where each one offers its own share of stunning landscapes, historic sites, and cultural delights. Wow. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Greece. <laughs> Situated at the southernmost tip of the Attica Peninsula, Cape Sunion is best known as the site of the ancient Greek temple of Poseidon, the god wow. of the sea. The remains are perched on the headland surrounded on three sides by the sea. The sunset over the Aegean Sea, as viewed from the ruins, is a sought-after spectacle. The site is also a popular day excursion for tourists from Athens. Number 9, wow. Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki is Greece's second largest city and the capital of the Macedonian region of northern Greece. Lively festivals, social events, and a buzzing nightlife make this city the cultural capital of Greece. Comprised wow. of a historic city center and commercial district, Thessaloniki offers both old and new attractions, from its Byzantine walls, white tower, and Turkish baths to colorful food markets and museums. Wow, the city's nightlife is and all the are so nice. to nightclubs and other entertainment venues, Thessaloniki offers it all. Although the streets are lined with small shops, boutiques, cafes, bars, and restaurants, Mykonos Town has not completely lost its identity. Thanks to strict building regulations, its traditional Cycladic architectural style and character has remained firmly intact. Number 7. Halkidiki Halkidiki is a trident-like peninsula near the city of Thessaloniki, sporting excellent beaches. The three separate peninsulas can be roughly summarized as follows. Cassandra has the nightlife, Zithonia has the beaches, and Athos has the monks. Being closest to Thessaloniki, Cassandra is more built up, while the more quiet Sithonia has campgrounds, hidden coves, and clear waters. Both are popular with Greek and Eastern European tourists. Much of the easternmost peninsula belongs to the Mount Athos monastic community. It's accessible by boat and open to male pilgrims only. Number 6. Peloponnese Shaped much like a large leaf, Peloponnese was traditionally called Moria, which means mulberry leaf. 
Located in the southernmost region of both Europe and Greece, Peloponnese is a wide peninsula connected to the mainland by the Rio Antorio Bridge. Interspersed with classical Greek temples, Venetian fortresses, Byzantine churches, and Mycenaean palaces, the peninsula echoes the ancient cultures and events from its extensive history. Among these ancient ruins is Olympia, where the first Olympic Games were hosted in honor of Zeus. Number 5. Delphi Second only to the Acropolis, Delphi is Greece's most popular archaeological site. Located about two and a half hours from Athens along the slopes of the awe-inspiring Mount Parnassus, Delphi was once revered by the ancient Greeks as the center of the earth. Dedicated to the god Apollo, Delphi was an important oracle. In ancient times, people would come to this sacred spot to inquire of the priestess for advice on a wide range of topics, from farming to relationships and politics. Significant ruins and structures include the Temple of Apollo, the Athenian Treasury, the Theater, and Hippodrome that once hosted events of the ancient Pythian Games. Number 4. Meteora The Greek word meteora means suspended in the air. And this phrase aptly describes the spectacular cliffs that rise more than 1,200 feet in the air, overlooking the villages of Kalambaka and Kastraki in the northern region of Greece. What makes these cliffs even more inspiring are the historic monasteries perched along its summits. Dating back to the 14th and 16th centuries, the monasteries at Meteora were built by monks seeking spiritual isolation and freedom from religious persecution. Number 3. Crete The largest of the Greek islands, Crete is a spacious land of pleasing contrasts where landscapes range from stunning coastline to rugged mountains and rolling countryside dotted with olive trees. Bustling cities spread beyond to quiet villages centered around outdoor coffee shops. History lovers will want to explore the many historic and archaeological sites that dot the island, such as Knossos Palace, which dates back to the Minoan civilization. Number 2. Athens Inhabited for more than 3,000 years, Athens is widely known as the cradle of Western civilization and the birthplace of democracy. The city presents a confusing blend of historical and modern features. Athens is famous for its archaeological ruins and monuments such as the famous Acropolis, the Parthenon, the ancient Agora, and the Theater of Dionysus, just to name a few. However, Athens is not just about ancient ruins. This bustling city is also an important center for culture and nightlife.
Number 1. Santorini Part of the Cyclades, Santorini is famous for its dramatic views, stunning sunsets, the whitewashed houses, and its very own active volcano. Fira, the capital of Santorini, is a marriage of Venetian and Cycladic architecture, whose white cobblestone streets bustle with shops, tavernas, hotels, and cafes while clinging on the edge of a high cliff. If you arrive by sea, you can take a cable car up from the port, or alternatively take a trip on a mule up the 588 zigzagging steps. Wow, Greece is such a beautiful place. Like, um, you see, most of the houses there are white, and white represents um, wealth, it represents, um, um, I don't know, let me know why most of the houses, let me know in the comment section the reason why most of the houses in Greece is built, like, the color is white, okay? Um, white represents reality yeah and um, so many more so let me know what the reason behind that greece is so beautiful i would say one of the only countries that i've seen in this particular video that their houses were not white was crete like yes the, the houses there like they had a certain pattern the roofs were orange and the buildings were other colors and that's so beautiful greece is really beautiful the mountains the water area like wow it's so beautiful um if i have my way one of the places i would like to visit will be Santori, if I'm correct, <laughs> yeah, that place is really beautiful. Like it's beautiful, and um, I think Greece has so many population because the area is sunny, and unlike other videos I've seen, you you rarely see people. But Greece is really, really surrounded. Like people live there a lot. Well, thank you for watching my reaction. If there's any other thing that you know that I've not done with regard to with time, I'm going to check out their food, their culture, their traditions. Right now, I know that Greece has a lot, a lot of monuments, yeah. Yeah, and I also know that Greece is the home of democracy. Mm -hmm. I've learned two things and I also have a reaction on my channel. I'm going to be leaving a card here. Marina Sati. Um yeah, she's from Greece and she's performing in Eurovision 2024. Thank you for watching my video and see you right in my next one. Bye.